I am awful when it comes to being flexible. I can't even touch my toes without bending my legs. That's how bad I am. And that's why for the next 30 days, I'm going to stretch for two hours every day. Let's get started. Except that's not what this video is about. You see, back in October, I finally got fed up of having the flexibility of a 60 year old man and decided to take a play from the David Goggins book of extreme and absurd life choices. Good, 22! Who's gonna carry the boats and the logs? That's you, buddy! And decided it would be a good idea to stretch for two hours a day, every day, for a month. And I did! That's what this video was gonna be about. And let me tell you, it worked! Those 30 days of stretching looked something like this with me focusing a lot of my time stretching my hamstrings and usually my lower body. I even spent a few days trying to stretch my psoas muscle because I knew that was something that Goggins focused on a lot to help uh, loosen up his lower body and reduce stress. I improved. It was really slow going, but at the end of 30 days, I was way more flexible. I could touch my toes without bending my legs and I felt great. My muscles were super loose and I wasn't stiff and achy all the time. It was wonderful. But then I moved. I actually relocated from Southern Illinois all the way to Denver, Colorado. And the move itself took about two months of flying back and forth from Illinois to Colorado to look at houses, super late nights of packing, and completely ignoring everything else going on in my life. And I didn't stretch a single day in those two months. All my progress went out the window. And from that, I learned something really important when it comes to stretching, wanting to become more flexible, and learning new habits with anything in life. And that is, consistency is key. You see, the reason why David Goggins can stretch for two hours a day, every single day, and not miss one day whatsoever, is because the man's a living Swiss watch. He is consistent like nothing else. He's on it every single day. I'm not there yet. So that's the biggest lesson I learned from this, is I need to be more consistent with what I do. Also, the other thing I learned was if I'm going to do something that takes a giant chunk out of my day, that means I either need to break it up into really small chunks throughout the day and do it often, or give up something else I want to do during the day. Literally, stretching for two hours meant I could have sat down and watched a whole movie. I mean, I could have done it while stretching, but you get the point. It's two hours. Two hours is, you know, two episodes of... What's the hot new TV show these days? Game of Thrones is dead, what is it? Um, I don't know, something on Disney. But yeah, that's a lot of time, and I don't really wanna go back to doing that. Maybe somewhere down the line, if I have the time, sure. But for right now, I'm gonna to stick to trying to be more consistent in smaller do doses. So right now, I'm trying to get back to where I was with 15 to 30 minute increments of stretching a day. I know it's gonna take me a lot longer to get the results that I had through doing the two hours of stretching, but hopefully I can stick to it, be consistent, and overall in the long run, be better at learning new skills like this. Because that's what I'm doing with all of this, is trying to be consistent at new things. So I hope you guys learned something from this video. Have a great day.